Hello and welcome to Hitman Animation. Today I'm joined by Morgan Stangland. Uh, hello there, Morgan. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. How about you? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. I'm uh, just going to ask you about your drawings. Uh, I've seen many of your drawings, your fan art, and it's absolutely amazing. Well, thank you. What, do you. what software do you use to make these um, drawings? Because they're really good, very professional. I use the same thing I use as my animations. I draw them in Flash 8 Pro. I was going to ask you, what's your inspiration for your animations and your stories? Where do you get your ideas from? Oh, my inspiration is from a lot of things, but mostly movies, of course. I mean, movies was the entire thing that made me start with this, because my big dream is to become a director or something like that. But my inspiration, oh, that's a bit hard. Uh, well, I'm starting writing books before I start with the entire animation thing. And then I was inspired by Marvel and Spider-Man and Spawn. Cool. What's your favorite character of the Marvel Universe? Uh, Spider-Man mostly because, yeah, I think it's awesome, but my style been changing lately to Iron Man. Uh, I've never been a big fan of Iron Man, but when the Iron Man movie came out, I got slightly a new point of him. Yeah, so I saw the movie, and I thought the first one I thought was really good as well. Yeah, very good. But I start collecting Spider-Man comics when I was about three years old. When did you start drawing? At what age did you start drawing and what, um, what did you draw at the time? Oh, if I can't remember that. <laughs> so, uh, when you watched Iron Man the film and then you thought, mm, I didn't really like him at first as a Marvel character and then you saw his persona in the film. Um, yeah. How did it change your persona on him? Or um, he, um, what made you like him more? I'm not quite sure. It's just that the way Robert Downey Jr. plays him gives out the character a bit more. I mean, it's kind of a perfect superhero. I mean, he's popular, popular, and at the same time, he's kind of like a playboy. Uh, I understand, Morgan. You're a big fan of Marvel. I was just wondering, do you make your own characters like the Marvel style? Well, Marvel has not been um, inspired me because Superfly is mostly inspired by Superfly and Spawn because he got the kind of same look. I mean, I'm not, I don't know if you have been reading Spawn or Spider-Man. No, I've seen the films. I thought they were really good. Yeah, and he's, Superfly kind of got the same look on his mask. But I'm still redesigning the look on him now for my fourth movie. But, yeah, there are several characters in the Superfly series. Uh, the heroes are Superfly himself, but he also got a human name called Stan Brox. He got this friend called Blue Flash Knight, which is our old knight of a code, which comes from the past, which he met. I don't remember what time it was. And we got several uh, villains. Uh, the Pumpkin Man. Uh, Dolga, which was Superfly's first villain. <coughs> and we got, let's see, Dr. Shy, which is kind of lame, lame, lame name. And uh, let's see. Yeah, I also added a new character called Brissa, and uh, let's see. I can't remember the new name on the new villain. Uh, well, okay. And I started writing Superfly books in 1997. Oh. So I wrote 53 books after 10 years. Then I've been taking a break and 
now I'm planning a final movie and based on the final book I'm writing. So I say you're a very talented artist. I've known you for quite a while now, you know. So I just wondered that was all. Yeah. So I was gonna say, who's your biggest biggest influences on YouTube? I mean, Colt Rail, he was a big support for me, which got me really into the animation stuff. And we got Techno Crossart, which has supported me also a lot. Yeah, I've seen his work. He's very, very good. I saw the Star Wars one and that and hands and that. Very good. Good animator. Yeah. Sort of like um, a South Park style, isn't it? Sort of thing. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's very cool. It's very cool. Unusual. That's what I like about it. I watch all his videos. Yeah, I know him very well. Yeah, and he make all those parodies and stuff. Yeah, I've seen Marvel and the zombies and that. It's brilliant. And I also saw his Kick-Ass ones as well, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> his Kick-Ass ones funny as hell. I couldn't stop laughing because um, I was like, he is the the character and he's been robbed. Have you seen it, viewers? But go and see it now. Take no flows up. Uh, basically you've got a character of kick-ass and he gets punched in the face and the granny goes flying back and her teeth come out in slow motion and everything. Excellently animated. You know, I just want to say I really like your background on your YouTube page. It's very, very professional and it looks just like a Marvel had actually done it himself. It's yeah, that's that's a Marvel character from X-Men. Deadpool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's pretty good. Oh, I was going to say to you, in your movies you have a lot of voice actors. Yeah. Uh, who do you use normally? Who helps you, in, in other words? Uh, my best friend here in Norway, he's actually from Australia, but he moved to Norway for about eight years ago. Oh, yeah, what's his name? Uh, John Anthony Crocker. He does the voice of Dr. Shy and uh, the Blue Flesh Knight and Superfly. I understand you make all your animations in Flash, I understand that, but how long does it take you to make your animations? Uh, it depends on my mood and everything, really, but when I'm really feeling into animating and I'm working with it maybe for two, three hours, which probably makes up... Yeah, Morgan, I was going to ask you, um, I heard this project kind of called Sick Madness. What's all this about? It's a big project which is inspired by Mortal Kombat and stuff like that, very violent stuff. It starts with a, this demon lord called Amic, which returns, and he meets up with his old foe Hank, which is the hero in this movie. There's been three apocalypse wars. Well, this is the third one. The first and second one... Hank survived, but he lost on the second one. So now, Amic wants revenge over the, over the entire world. So Hank, Joe, and Riley, the main characters, got to team together against him as he formed a scourge, which is going to take over the world. Oh, yeah, Morgan, I was wondering, um, who are your biggest influences on YouTube? Uh, technical art. In, uh, it's several ones almost everyone that really supports me is that kind of thing to me i mean support means everything to me more than anything else it's like yeah like i've been there from the start from you and i've watched all your work and i've thoroughly enjoyed it and you always come up my videos yeah that's, that's the way it works on the phone in this world isn't it have each other out yeah especially animators i mean I don't mean to be rude to people on YouTube, but there's a lot of crap being uploaded to people that doesn't really deserve it. I mean, animators work a lot, and I think some of us deserve a little more than we get, really. Instead of, like, a video of someone dancing and they got, like, a thousand subscribers... You know, I know exactly where you're coming from. It's like you spend hours and hours animating something and you upload it because you're proud of it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden someone comments on saying horrible things and it's not nice. You spent all that time doing it. Yeah, I would like to thank you for your support to me and for this interview. I also want to thank Janet J, Technic Dorsa, John Croft, Dr. Rail. I want to Thank them all for supporting me. Thank you very much, Morgan Strangeland. Thank you very much. Thank well, you.